What's up guys, it's Drew Holmes here. I'm back, your boy, another video for you guys. And this is a sales related topic, money making, and how are we gonna get to the next level? How are we gonna get to $400,000 a year? How are you gonna make it happen for you and your family? All right, so the topic today is having things in your life that are convenient, whether that be a job, whether that be friends, whether that be a whole host of things, don't do the convenient thing because the convenient thing is almost never the right answer. And let me give you a couple examples and this is gonna make sense, a lot of sense to you guys. I think at least you guys that are understanding of where my head's at with business, where my head's at with uh, you know, sales and what I'm trying to achieve. You guys are on the same level. You guys are doing the same things, but you're gonna get this. If you go for a job that's convenient, what that sounds like is, you know, you knew a guy that worked at a company and so it just came to you easy. Something that was easy or it was convenient. Oh, it was easy to get a job because they were hiring 100 people at this one company. They're, you know, they're, oh, they're hiring a ton of people. I heard through my friend. You got a job through somebody that's convenient. Rather than making a plan about what kind of job you actually want, you just went for whatever was convenient. Maybe it was convenient just to go through college and just to, to maybe just pick something that you thought made sense at the time. And that's the convenient route to go. And you're gonna stick with that because it was just convenient. It was easy. That's never the right answer. Almost never the convenient thing is the right thing. Now, you're gonna be friends with people just based on them being convenient. I know when I was in college, the first kid that I knew was the kid that was my roommate in college and it was convenient for me to get to know him and be friends with him, but guess what? I wasn't gonna meet people that I wanted to meet by just being friends with him and just going off of, you know, whoever was closest to me, whatever is the easiest, you know? A customer that's convenient and easy to sell to may not be your best customer. In fact, some of the hardest deals to make, some of the hardest customers and accounts to break into are the best accounts. They're my most loyal customers, the people that I had to work the hardest to get, okay? You don't want your job to be easy. If your job's easy, anybody can do it. You wanna do something that's easy? Then, then go work at McDonald's. Go do something easy. Go, go pick your ass out uh, doing, doing landscaping work. You know, take a convenient job. But if you wanna get real and you wanna make some income, you wanna get successful like I do, you know, then don't do what's convenient. And a guy taught this to me several years ago and it didn't really fully click or make sense to me. And I, and I heard something the other day that sparked this. It made me think of you guys and think about shooting a video about this because if, it, if you can understand my point, you'll start to see the correlation between decisions you're making and how convenient it is for you. And you know, like, all right, here's a perfect example, food. What's convenient? Oh, well, McDonald's is convenient. Burger King's convenient. It's cheap and convenient. Never just go to what's convenient. What's the easiest? Oh, you could have a convenient girlfriend, a girlfriend that lives right next door, just because she, it's easy to, you know, live next to her and hook up with her. Like, that's, you know, it might be right, but chances are the convenient choice in life is the road more traveled. And what we're trying to do on this channel is take the road less traveled, I'm taking the back roads. It might be harder to get there, but the payoff's gonna be better. The convenient friends are gonna be easier to attract, but they're not the right friends. The job that's the easiest to get is not the job that you want. The sale that's the easiest to get is not the sale that you want. You know, the hardest sales that I've had to do, the biggest deals that I've done are deals that nobody else wants to do. Everybody's afraid to do it. Guess what, I love that because I'm not afraid and I'm going after it. But guess what, everybody else wants what's convenient, what's easy, what's the path of least resistance, all right? And you know, actually I think what brought this on to me was Andy Frisella talking about doing the, the, the hardest thing, which is to stay consistent with, for most people, a meal plan, exercising, you know, part of his program for 75 days, the 75 hard program he's talking about, you have to exercise at, I think it's 45 minutes a day, and 
every other day it has to be outside. Well, guess what? When it's raining, it's inconvenient to run outside. When it's pouring down rain or it's sleet or hail, snow, it's a little inconvenient. And, you know, that's the point. When, it be, when you're pushing yourself, when you want to get maximum results, you need to teach yourself how to withstand some pain, some agony. Because if you're, not, if you're not in pain, if you're not struggling, then you're not growing. So, you know, I, I come at you guys with a lot of energy, a lot of, you know, uh, almost intensity. But that's, where, that's how I feel about this stuff. That's where my head's at. It matters that much to me that, you know, I'm going to make videos for myself and some of the people that care about this kind of stuff. Because if one or two of you guys can catch this concept, you're going to be coming back to me a year from now and telling me how it changed your life. Do not go for things that are convenient. All right? Share the channel, guys. Share this with somebody. I know there's some people out there that want to have success and they're struggling for whatever reason. It's because they're going the convenient route and you can help them out by sharing this. So definitely share the channel and uh, hit that thumbs up for me. All right, guys, I'll see you soon.